All right, just another quick tip here, but uh, plants are done, clients are making changes. We had the main sink here and we had the uh, uh, cooktop or the stove and oven nicely placed in the middle. But the client wants a sink over here and a um, bar sink or vegetable sink over here. So I'm asking if we could put a window here. I think we should now before we had the cabinets going all the way across. Anyway, the purpose of this is to look, you can see that the marble countertop goes through the sink and I have to cut that out. And I came up with a little problem there. And so I wanted to share that as a solution we might have in the future as well. So I want to cut this out. So I simply click on the countertop. Now I've selected that. I go up to edit in place. And then I want to make a void extrusion. And then generally my countertops are three feet and it's two feet thick or two inches thick. So one foot 10 is the start of the end of the same thing. And it's going to flip it, but it'll be two inches thick, which is the thickness of the countertop. And then I just draw a rectangle around the sink. I want to stay inside the outer edge of the sink, but outside of the uh, sink depth. Okay, so now if we really did this in real life, if I cut this hole, the sink would not fall through. And so that's basically it. And I hit the um, green check mark, and I've already done this, and nothing happened. And I thought, okay, well, my height's are right. But then I took a look at my work plane, which shows that the work plane is not what I assumed it was, would be the first floor. It was the top of the first floor wall. So we just go over here and we say, that's the new plane. And we'll change that from top of first floor wall to the first floor and say, okay. So now my first floor is my reference plane. I'm going three feet above it. And uh, it should be two, two foot 10. Two foot 10. So that'll give you a two inch difference. And that's the thickness of the slab. So now let's see what happens. I say, okay, to that. And then I need to cut it. So I tell uh, Revit to cut it. And then I say, okay. And then if we change this to consistent colors, we can look and see, yep, look at that. It did cut a hole through there. And so everything's great. So um, my, I was uh, working my way through this and I thought, oh, you know, this, there's a fix for this. And what is it? I thought, well, maybe it's a good idea to share that quickly with you. So I hope uh, that that helps you in some way.